Hello, I'm Dr. Jan Kupitz, um, CRS Chief Geotechnical Engineer. We're currently in uh, Victoria Square and I'll provide you some background about Christchurch, the Christchurch CBD and the geotechnical conditions which are the soils on which the buildings are standing. Now, if you look what actually happened in September and February. In September we had a magnitude 7.1 earthquake a fair reasonable distance away from Christchurch which caused significant damage. However, it has not caused any significant loss of life. It was made in minor injuries but building damage. We had an aftershock sequence which included a 22nd of February earthquake event and that caused a uh, loss of life. Um, two buildings collapsed completely, the rest of the building stock was heavily affected. We had structural damage and we had foundation damage. Um, that particular earthquake event was well above what we would have considered uh, reasonable and, and code for Christchurch. Now, that event actually caused significant acceleration. Some of the highest accelerations actually occur recorded in the world were recorded within the Christchurch area. Now, what have we actually learned since then? We have learned that the event was very rare and very unusual and the acceleration recorded actually caused structural damage. However, it, uh, it did affect to minor degree the building stock. Most of the buildings designed the current um, code actually did withstand it relatively okay. However, the um, moment resisting frames did suffer damage and to some degree demolition was actually the only option in order to preserve the seismic resistance of these buildings. Now, what we have right now is, if we consider the rebuild, is the site of the CBD suitable for rebuild and can we rebuild in the same site? Since the September event, we have sunk over thousands of boreholes and cone penetrometer tests to actually determine the conditions of the soils in the Christchurch. We had had extensive investigation underneath the residential areas and underneath the um, CBD itself. Within the residential areas, we have retired about 8,000 houses in land that is not suitable for long-term occupation. The government made an offer to all the residents to actually withdraw from these areas because we don't consider that long-term occupation is actually suitable. If you consider the CBD, we have had a block-wide investigation by um, the um, Canterbury um, uh, CIRA, which is the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority, and Crash City Council and the Earthquake Commission EQC. Um, this investigation actually focused on the underlying soils. The soils were investigated onto about 25 meters and we reviewed historic records of much deeper wells, so of several hundred meters. And overall what we have found is that the soils under Christchurch do lend themselves for rebuild. In international context, the soils underneath Christchurch are actually very, very good. We have at about 20 to 30 meters a very competent gravel layer. In geotechnical context, this gravel layer is actually much better than many, many rock sites around the world. If you consider areas like Frankfurt or London, where decent bearing stratas are very, very deep, in Christchurch is relatively shallow. Where we stand actually over here in um, Victoria Square, nearby are buildings that are actually sitting on an intermediate gravel layer. This gravel layer is um, sometimes 7, 10 meters thick and the building sitting on it performed very, very well. So we have variable conditions. We have investigated uh, where uh, the variability exists. We have determined that a rebuild can occur in the crash of CBD and uh, we can actually move in forward with confidence. There was extensive damage, especially around the river edges, where lateral spreading has affected the land, but we understand the mechanism much better than we had done before. We know about the ground conditions around there, we have set back some areas, and uh, we have engineering tools and methods that actually help us to develop multi-story buildings with confidence in Christchurch.